quick introduction here. We got the inverter up and running. We are on inverter mode, as you can see here. Try to get this up here. Zoom this in a bit. Twenty-four percent load, two hundred forty-four volts, fifty-six volts in the battery left. This is our connection. I just got it set up for testing mode. This isn't the final by any means. Um, this cable's not even warm. It's a two watt, We're running a two hundred amp annual fuse right there. Running a sixty amp breaker here. Then I'm running some number six cable out of the inverter into that breaker, right out of that breaker into another 50 amp breaker right there in my main panel. And as you can see, my main panel is turned off. It's in the off position. Strictly running off the inverter. The AC works. I have the studio now lit up. Every outlet in there is on. Except 130 amp for my uh, dryer and the 50 amp for my stove. I don't, you know, I can turn them on. It doesn't matter. It's not going to do anything because they're not running, but uh, that's pretty much it. This is just the testing of this. And uh, you'll see on the other footage I have off my iPhone, the actual AC kicking on. I can hear it. Yeah, I know. And AC is running cold. I did it. So we have the air conditioning running. I'm gonna flip a couple of breakers on. I'm running a two watt cable. Everything's nice and cool. 37% load. Fill it with my phone, by the way, guys. 57 volts when you started at 58.1 or 58.2. We've got a few more breakers here. We have four refrigerators and an ice maker, so I don't want to kick everything on at once. Now it's a 24% load because I'm running the studio now outside and so the AC's on in the studio. It's a mini split, but still pulling some amperage. Plus there's a lot of outside lights that are on that are on that same circuit. And that's on this big 80 amp down here in my panel. So yeah, I'll put that all back. And then I'm just seeing here how long we can run off this battery pack. It's been going for about an hour or so now. We're just sitting at 56 volts on the uh, meter here. Uh, there's a lot more in the battery pack than that. And I've got quite a few things on. You can see I got my lights on in my garage. I got a LED light plugged in over there. All the lights in my house are on. Got TVs going, computers going, kitchen lights going.
a lot of lights, a lot of things going on. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. We'll walk outside, see what we got going outside. Landscape lights going. Landscape lights over there. We lost another tree again the other night. Lights in the back 40. Lights around the back in the pool. Motion light on the house. So we have power everywhere. Strictly running off of batteries. So all in all, as promised, whole house air conditioning on inverter and batteries. And I'm running a lot of power here too, by the way. This isn't just a little bit of power. This is basically two households of power. So two households of power running basically off one 12,000 watt inverter. Two air conditioning units. These are a whole house, three and a half, or a four ton, and then the mini split. All of that being ran off of six Tesla Smart for Two battery modules, all wired in parallel. Those are my buses that I made myself. My buddy Jeff has a CNC machine. He put that all into AutoCAD for me. I gave him the dimensions. And uh, we used his CNC machine and made these bars. Took us a couple of tries, but we got it. I got the prototype here somewhere. Here it is. Here's the prototype. This one I made here in the garage. Well, the saw's all on a drill. I've got some video clips of this stuff. Not really making it, but just, you know, it being done. This is some quarter inch aluminum angle iron. And this stuff is just not even warm at all. None of it's warm. All the wires are nice and cool. So we've still got a long ways to go on this. Now I have not ran the microwave at the same time. Um, but I don't have any fear that this one will do that either. So and like I said, once again, everything's just kind of temporarily set up. I'll be putting the batteries in a box. There's six more batteries that got to go into this pack. Um, there is another transfer switch that has to come in next to this transfer switch. This is for my big generator that's outdoors. But I'll put another transfer switch in right around in here. And that will allow me to do an AC couple on this system. And uh, be able to run this as a, a backup and or main power supply and also be able to do some net metering with a couple of other little pieces that I have to throw into the puzzle here. And then I'll be sending power back to the grid with my solar. So anyways, uh, this is the video. It's up and it's running. It ain't like the other videos, but it's working nonetheless. And uh, anyways, man, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this helps any of you guys out that it can. If you have any questions, be sure to put them in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget, we got that free giveaway coming up uh, probably February 15th. So be sure to get to the website to sign up for that. Till next time, man, I'll see you around.